Okay. We now have enough gold to pull out that 17th century unit that we're talking about. I think I saw 117 days. Yay! Self-sustaining colony, you said. Good. Actually, we will take... We will take these troops as soon as we arrive uh, to that colony. Explore. Circumnavigate the globe. I think it's possible. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> I certainly think it's possible, though. Okay. Is it worth repairing? How badly damaged are they? Not at all. But should we wait until the end of the month? No, I don't think so. Shit, we've almost got what we need from here, actually. Well then, well then, Colonial, uh, sorry, Newfoundland. You did doing pretty well for yourself up there, actually. Uh oh. That looks okay. Surprise, there's a revolt. Surprise, there's a revolt there. Uh oh, that look is nasty. Uh, quick, get on board the ship. Get on board the hype ship. No, get in there, you sons of bitches. Concede defeat. I'd love to let you go just on concede defeat. Trust me, I would. I'd love to. But I'm afraid I cannot. Damn. I'm afraid I cannot let you just go. I have to take that land from you. It's a necessity, I'm afraid. It's Manhattan. It needs to be part of, uh, part of my empire. Ooh, shit. I will totally just, yeah, let you get away with this, though. In fact, I think they should... My 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 thing should should actually win that. And by my thing, I mean my colonial nation. And all your treaties, for God's sake. Ugh, I guess we can't make them in all their treaties, not yet, anyway. It's my rightful territory, damn it. Okay, there you go. Thirteen colonies should now be giving us an extra merchant. They are. Why do we only have ten then? Hmm. Odd. Don't, none of that looks weird. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it, was t it took a month. It took a month for us to uh, get our act together, get our, get our merchant, our extra merchant. We are going to send that merchant. Two chests. We've got one in Chesapeake Bay. We've got one there. We haven't got one in Hudson Bay, but it's not really worth sending one there. We've got one in the North Sea. We've actually got one in our home node, for fuck's sake. There's no need to put one there. There's no need to put one there. You can transfer out of Sevilla now? Shit. That makes Genoa way more valuable than it used to be. We've got one there, we don't have one there, but there isn't any point because it's already all going where we want it to go. We've got one there, we've got one there, we've actually even got one there. We're actually collecting there. I know it's usually a good idea to collect there, but let's see how that does. Um, hmm. I have no clue why I want to put this merchant now. Malacca? Sure. So many merchants. Once we have a little more control of the area, they will be so useful though. Okay. I'm sure our trips, troops have now arrived up here. Uh, I mean, ships. I guess trips is probably closer to what I was trying to say than troops. Uh, than, yeah. They are now at low war enthusiasm. I don't know how long they've been there. Maybe for longer than I thought. Okay, there's no there's no ports to blockade up there. Muscovy. Ah, come on, they're never gonna accept that. They're never gonna accept that. Mm. Great. Not unless we invade would they accept that. 
took some forts. I don't think that's gonna happen. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? What to do? What to do? Should we try and invade? No, that doesn't look like a good idea, does it? Or should we just take it? Just do a couple wars? Hmm. Canton. Shit. Seriously? China? I wasn't expect. I wasn't actually. I wasn't actually planning on going into China. That's not a dreadful idea, but I wasn't planning on it. I think we're just gonna have to cut our losses and take what we can. So, sure. Obviously, the Australian colonies. Let's clear the offer. The Australian ones are obvious. You take that. Can we take all of this? Yep. Can we push it a little bit? No. Can't push it at all. Actually, we have to take what we've we've won in terms of war score. Sure, it's good enough. Forcing them off of Australia was the important part. Holy shit, that aggressive expansion, though. Okay. Not the. I mean, we won the war. It's not. I'm a little disappointed we couldn't get everything we wanted, but we won the war. That's not. Yay, Muscovy have announced this as an arrival. That's a good plan for me. Alliance offer from Gon Golconda. I'm going to decline it, because look at them. I actually want to take some land from them. What was the mission I took in the end? Was it India? Yeah. Honestly, that's our next That's our next mission. <laughs> so I'm glad I took that. Um, oh, he's going to do something. Shit. I've already... Okay. Well, we've got some Diplo points available that I want to use. Okay, uh, maybe Australia is a good place to use them, but I think... Uh, the actual colonial nation Australia are probably going to take him off, take that off my hands at some point. Alright, so the gold is making us money. Shit tons of it, actually. Okay, do we have any other gold that we have? Yeah, we do. Maybe we should just focus our diplo points on that. Because as you can see, yeah, if we up that to that, it increases, yeah, by like 20 points, yeah. But is it the 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 question is how much it costs? There you go. So now we're making two ducats from those two provinces. That's pretty good. Okay, now we actually need to because the war is over. These ships need to head home to London. These ships need to head home, actually to Meath. And these ships need to head home. The war is completely over now. Um, we need to get our transports together. That's the important thing. So, um, we need to actually... We've got these two pretty well defended. And we're, se we're sending another one there. Okay. We'll, se we'll put these troops on there first. And then we'll... Uh, from there, we'll send these guys home as well. I wonder how these guys are going to end up doing. <laughs> they circumnavigating the globe. If we had... We should have got some port access or something. I don't think they're going to succeed. They're already suffering some attrition. What about frauds give us military access? I doubt it. France are not happy with me. I don't know, what if I unrivaled France? Uh, I'm considering it. It would cost me 100 diplo, I think. Yeah, so I need to save that up. But I got a lot of enemies. <laughs> Spain is probably always going to be my enemy. And so is Morocco. But I think France could probably be... Probably pass up the opportunity to, to rival France. If someone better came along. Um, oh yeah, that's 20,000 tr fleet, uh, 20,000 troops. 
20 ships. 20 ships. 5,000 uh, troops. What time is it? Is it 10 yet? Shit. I don't know how long I've been recording. It might have been a couple. It might have, been, it might have already been a couple of hours. This has gone a lot smoother than the last recording session. I can tell you that for a fact. Because last time, obviously, we had all that Spain shit to deal with. This time we don't have to deal with all that Spain shit. Okay, so send you guys home for now. We are probably going to end up going to war in India. You are already home. Just merge up as soon as you get home. We got enough money for it, so... Do we... How much are we making a month? 25, yeah. So... Hmm. Support them in other ways, yeah. I don't, I don't know what the other options were, but that seems a very easy thing to do. As long as it won't take us over force limit, which it won't, it's 24, which will leave us with 76. We don't have enough money. Wait a month. Speed 4. There you go. More troops. We want 24. We want two, I think, 24 strong trade fleets. Which we can do. Uh, sorry, not trade fleets. Trans transport fleets. Which I'm pretty sure we can do. Um, we don't need all these people over here. In fact, we don't need anybody over here anymore. Yeah, I mean, the only reason why we need people over here is to go to war with the natives. And that won't be happening too much anymore. Unless we want to go to war with the natives to get a little bit of money together. That could be a possibility. I don't know if they're going to be able to all transport over here. Whoa! We actually did it? You guys! Well played. Well played. We are not the first that have to have managed to circumnavigate the globe. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a great feat and will be celebrated throughout the land. You guys! Well played. Only the second, though? I'm surprised. Probably could have done that a lot earlier. Okay, you guys head off to probably Lubeck. Yeah, Lubeck is severely lacking in trade f chips right now. Okay, yeah, we wanted to send you guys back to Neath. Not Neath, Meath. Neath is down here. <laughs> Which reminds me, how is this doing? It's doing alright. It's doing alright. It's got a good trade good too. We probably should invest some Diplo points in it. It's also got some pretty good manpower. Before we can we afford to? Are we how are we doing on dip military tech? Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna invest any points into that. Okay, buildings wise, oh we can't really afford any. Plus we're saving up for ships anyway. Okay, two twenty four strong twenty four thousand men regiments. There's also Matthew Clive aboard those ships. And did we leave any men behind? We left a thousand men behind. Goodbye, those men. <laughs> those brave, brave men, but goodbye. Alright. You guys can head up there. I imagine it's going to take a while for a couple of these fleets to head back home. They also, some of them are going to need to repair as well. You guys can continue exploring if you've got anything to explore. Eh, screw it. Head home, guys. We've explored the entire globe, I think. Holy shit. You know, every shore in the world is known to us. I'm not sure that was meant to happen. Go protect trade in Lubeck. where the real money is, damn it. Oh, my neck, that's lovely. War with Europeans is not on my mind right now. Regrettable. Ta Let's start taxing some stuff. Screw it. There's no there's no liberty desire out there. Not even in Austria. Ooh, the more we expand, the more we get colonial nations, the more Austria will want... Oh, well, the more everyone will want to rebel against us because they think that if they 
combine their strength, they could beat us. Which may or may not be true. Explorer Samuel Suffolk is dead. That's fine. He was a he was a good explorer. Well, he was a good admiral that never got put to use, but still, it's fine. All right, we're gonna launch a two-pronged war here. I think we're gonna be we're gonna launch a war uh, up the coast against these two provinces and Khalifa and Kaffa, a crusade of sorts. Um, what? Seriously? Why is there so much local unrest? That's unfortunate. Um, we're gonna launch kind of a crusade. No. We've just lost the title of the faith. Oh god, so many core provinces. Yay, that colony wrapped up. Which is good. Australia's the only place we're really colonizing right now. So which one just wrapped up? That one. Actually, Australia is the only place we're colonizing right now. Um, no particular reason to it. I'm assuming that it'll end up being a reasonably valuable trade note. It's about gold there. Um, but, yeah, we're just, yeah, it's going to eventually go through here where we're actually giving a shit. The re reason why we could end up attacking China and getting a trade node there is because I think there are trade companies there. There are. Look at that. I, yeah, it might not be the worst idea to go after China. Not Girin, not Nippon, but Beijing, Hangzhou, Canton. Not Xi'an, not Chengdu, Siam, definitely. Alright, let's convert some Orthodox to the one true faith. Holy shit. That's harsh treatment down. Eh, it's kind of a waste of military power. How much military power is it? E. Mm. I know. It's, mm. it's probably not worth doing. Again, I'm surprised there's so much roll risk there. It's here, right? Yeah. Probably because of the autonomy. Ooh, we need to assign these provinces to our trade company. Lose legitimacy or lose admin points? Uh, I think we can afford to lose legitimacy. Okay. I'm assuming that won't give us an extra merchant right away. I uh, didn't think so. Didn't think so. Really? Only 10%? Wow. Oh, I need to revoke that fleet piece and rights everywhere. Oh, it's not a big deal, but Ottomans are Manchu. Oh, I thought that, I thought Ottomans had renamed themselves to, uh, to Constantinople then. Boom! The Ottoman, the Anglo... Turkish Alliance has been signed. Uh, there you go. There you go. And Ottomans the same. I'd like to cancel my fleet business rights with you, but I will improve my relations with you afterwards. Because... This is a new alliance for the new world, honestly. Um, ooh. Okay, we're okay for now. We will we will soon be bordering each other, though. So I gotta get there quickly before they do. Ooh, development costs going down. That. <laughs> I always look at that and I'm like, ooh, that looks cool. Uh, allow use current. Yeah, our legitimacy is falling pretty badly. That's not good. Diplo support. Military support. Take sides. And, yep, church power is fine too. I'm happy going forward at, at 96%. I think all our ships should be home now. Yeah. They are. There you go. We got 41 ships. Let's say. We need 48, so... We're going to build out seven more. Ooh, there's a new transport ship. This is the point in the game that I have gotten to, but I don't get to often, so...
Good, another self-sustaining Australian colony. Always good to see. Because the more we... Sooner we finish with Australia, the better. Do we have ten cities there? We do. Nope. Yeah, we do. And we have a free merchant because of that. Which we will send, be uh, appropriately, to Australia. There you go. He will transfer trade power through trying trying to get... It. Hopefully we'll try and get it down here so somehow. Oh shit, how did that go up so fast? I don't know, but I don't care. However it did, I don't care, it'll work for me. Uh. Like I said, like pre this patch when buildings were a little more OP, um, at least in terms of the trade game, Britain could be making hundreds by this by the end of this century, and we could have a seven hundred strong navy by the end of this century as well. I don't know what how strong we'll be by the end of the century. In the in this DLC, but it's looking pretty good. It's looking great, but it's looking pretty good. How close are we to a Muscovite uprising? I am probably going to stop that Muscovite uprising at whatever cost. Okay, and then we'll put these ships, we'll separate them out into groups of 10. Well, 10 and 11. I don't, I'm not going to be picky about that. Yay! Ah! Very, because we took religious ideas, we got really quick conversion times. Okay. Time is upon us. So it begins. Alright, you guys. To Mombasa. And you guys. To Vani. I guess we're going to war with Bahamas. I guess that's what we're doing first. Because if we take that province and these provinces up here, that'd be a good start. Okay, cool. We got absolute rulership. We researched that. Seems like something we would have researched a while ago, but sure. Uh, no. Good new, a good initiative. That's cool. Oh, that's how, probably how we got that ca uh, that fort there. Which reminds me, we should probably mothball all our forts. Uh, even though we're about to go to war, mothball all our forts, yes, and then activate the specific ones that I want, like you, and you. Although you're probably not going to be necessary, still it's important to. Have a contingency plan. Are you Spain? You are Spain. Yeah. Also, I want you active. <clears throat> I don't think Golconda will be able to get to us. Good. Colonial border conflicts. Gain liberty desire, lose diplo points, or lose prestige. I'll lose prestige. <laughs> They can sort it out themselves. Client states. Client states are kind of cool. Um, do we have a free relationship slot? We do. I might give it a try. I might show you guys what it is. Uh, what am I looking for here? Where's the... Oh, they won't be up there. <laughs> Improve relations. Okay, so client state is where's Dublin there it is a client state is one second I'm trying to think of something uh, a client state is a, a basically a vassal that you make yourself uh, and you can call it whatever you want call it Ireland if you want but of course the name is taken so because there is an Ireland in the game you call it New Ireland <laughs> Or British Ireland, you can call it. Um, you can make, you can make, you can do all what, all sorts of things with client states, and you can make them out of your own land. I can make an Iceland client state, 
It's just a way to, I mean, there's very little point to it except for aesthetics and stuff. So, it's, yeah, you can do it if you want. I might do it with whales, just, you know, because. Um, it's good, like, if you've got an exception. It's basically good if, you know, if you want to make a vassal or something. It would have been good if I had Austria. Uh, if I if I had those Austrian lands and I could have done that. Um, it's good, say, if, yeah, if you didn't, if you wanted to declare war on Spain, but you had some land in France you didn't want to be involved in the war, you can now create a client state out of it and enable scuttage uh, so that it's not part of the war anymore. Things like that. It's kind of cool. Receive extra colonists. Yes, please. That's not actually extra colonists, but it's extra... It's uh, more colonial enthusiasm and stuff like that. And we have ended any chances of revolt because we converted them all to Protestantism. Great. Lovely. That's one thing I want to do. Start converting people to Protestantism. Okay, we've arrived here. And we have... Uh, not quite arrived there. But that's fine. We'll start this war early. Kick it off anyway. Who are you allied with? Who are you? Helage. I, you don't have any coastal provinces, therefore I do not want to declare you a co-belligerent. But I think I want to... Holy War. Nah. Imperialism. 75% war score cost is pretty cool. Our navy in the Zanzibar Straits, you say? Really? I didn't see it. I'm heading out there. Ooh, we won that battle pretty quickly. So we, we won both these provinces because they, we won a contiguous coast going up into the Gulf of Aden. So, unfortunately, if they had any inland provinces, I would let them live. But unfortunately, they don't. So, it's the end of that. We are also going to be declaring war in India. Uh, we might not win this one. <laughs> this one's going to be difficult. Especially with that kind of ruler. So, fingers crossed. This is going to be a nasty one. I don't know if I want to do this. Ah, oh, it's got to happen one of these days. To war! Where's, where's this blockaded province you speak of? Really? One second. How? I don't see any blockade. There you go. Now we gotta manage two wars, it's not gonna be easy for me. But it's fun. But it's not gonna be easy, because I'm bad at this thing. Okay. We need all of this. All of their provinces. Okay. Again, we wanna just occupy and move on. Blitzkrieg, as it were. Ooh, there come the Madurai army. And this is a... It's a positive province for us to defend. They're coming in. Now nah, we're losing that one. That's unfortunate. Uh oh. Oh, it's very unfortunate actually. Okay, have we occupied all of them, of the Avern. We have, but they've only got fifty percent war score because they're still in the war, and they want to stay in this war. Okay, great. We'll have to go do some stuff with them then. Fantastic. We've taken no casualties there. We should first of all though, we should come over here and try and help. Eh. We'll wait. <laughs> we'll we'll go over here instead. Did we get any allies in these wars? I'm assuming not, no. If we go take this fort, we should actually just be able to peace out. Okay, I'll learn how to pronounce that. Hejaz.